Uh, I guess my next great remembrance is when we went up to Quebec, and I was is explained to me by my host that I was considered a billet uh, because I was staying at her house, and I still to this day cannot figure out why when we went to ride the underground, though they had a ticket ticket sign and a billet sign, why they wouldn't give me a special price because I was a billet. Although I explained that I was a billet from the United States and uh, uh, that just still hasn't been cleared up. Yes, one time um, that orbiting space station, Skylab, it was an orbiting space station that used to, you know what it used to do, Mr. Allen? It used to orbit around the Earth, this orbiting space station did. And, and what happened was, Mr. Allen, it, it began to lose momentum. And when, when orbiting space stations lose momentum, Mr. Allen, their, their orbits begin to decay, you see. And so Skylab began to have a spiral, you see, spiral in towards Mother Earth. And you know what happened, Mr. Allen? We were scared about your safety and all that. So we did the only thing we could do. We set up a radar station in the band room. You know, uh, nothing fancy or anything. And, um, and what we noticed on July 10th, 1979, we saw that blip coming in on the edge of the screen, coming in at a trajectory of 23 degrees, at a velocity of 11,795 meters per second, and accelerating at 97,000 meters per second squared, Skylab! So we did the only thing that we could do. We put on our atomic helmets. We charged up our atomic laser gun like this, listen. And then, when the atomic batteries were charged, we blew that little sucker out of the sky. Okay, Mr. Allen. When um, they told me to come on camera and talk about, you know, an, inc an incident that we had together. Forget it, cut, let's start again. <laughs> Mr. Allen, I remember a time that we were in How to Succeed and we had a rehearsal one day. I remember the time we told us to all move up. So the time we started that scene, I started to move up. But everyone stayed back. So I started to move back. And you said to me, Stacy Cleanboy, you were the only one that was right. Why did you move? Everyone else is wrong. So you'll let me know when we start. Oh, no. Uh, oh well. The gimmick's over, I guess. Uh, I'm actually not blind. I'm actually, I'm actually a tenor too, Mr. Allen. Um, I didn't want anybody to know. But uh, this is Bob Zecker. And uh, they asked me for a few memories. And the one that sticks in my mind most is doing Thespis with you, being a god with you, which I thought was quite fitting. Uh, when uh, Chip uh, couldn't remember any of his lines, uh, I just look over at you and, and have to keep from cracking up at that moment. And uh, I owe you a debt for that one because you started me off on a long and sordid career of Gilbert and Sullivan, which still is not over. I actually wanted to do the song uh, We Are the Choir as a patter song, but they wouldn't let me. Dear Mr. Allen. Both me and Chris Luciola would like to um, wish you and your family the best of luck and thank you for all of the years of teaching that you gave us. And we'll always get a kick out of the three times you slipped on the ice and broke your arm. My fondest memory is my greatest coup, I might say, is my senior year when we went down to Atlantic City with the All-State Choir. And I'm still not sure who pulled this little prank with Richard Bernardo and I but Rich's clothes didn't look very well on me. And my little revenge, I suppose, was, uh, well, you remember. Uh, and I guess I don't have the Allstate, 1979 Allstate chorus with me now, but this will have to do. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Allen. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, you guys. Uh, I wish you many more happy and healthy ones. Take care. Okay, Mr. Allen. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to be on camera, but I decided that uh, <laughs> I would... I, I When I think of you, I have one image in my mind, a very extremely tall man running across a blanket of snow in Canada, jumping in front of a toboggan, trying to save my life, which I'll never forget. I really appreciate that. And um, just all the fun that I had working on the shows and all the rehearsals. And also, David Kamora told me to tell you my name, so in 20 years you'll remember who we are. So my name is Amy Machetto, in case you forget, in 20 years. 
and I hope that you have a great time in Florida and I hope you and your family have a very, very nice life together and I wish you the best. My other memory that I have is uh, drinking our way through Belgium with you. Uh, there was a lot of fond memories there. Uh, drinking uh, that uh, raisin wine that your host made was very good. Um, I think I'll never forget the tour of the damned and the hell bus. Uh, Quasi and Esmeralda uh, are two very fond memories. Uh, we nearly knocked down 15 centuries of uh, houses uh, every time we turned a corner with that bus. It uh, was, was very, very memorable. Uh, my first experience with uh, Europe. Uh, and uh, I'd just like to thank you for some good moments in choir. This was certainly one of the reasons, probably the only reason I had to come back to Primus High School. And you retired. And uh, you know, of course, this means we'll all be singing uh, the uh, Hallelujah Chorus on your doorstep every Christmas, but uh, you can get used to that, I'm sure. Uh, have a good life. Thank you. Thanks for having a lot of faith in a mediocre piano player. Mechel. M-E-E-L. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Mr. Allen, this is Dave Kamar. I know you wouldn't remember me in 20 years, but you will remember Amy Machetto. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, um, I'd just like to wish you um, happiness and good health in Florida. Um, I'm going to miss you and I um, just wanted you to know that as I remember my past life, or actually my present life because I can't remember my past life because that was, I was a woman and it was back in the 1800s and my name was Bridie Murphy. Um, but seriously, um, thinking back in high school, uh, my best memories of high school uh, all came out of the choir and um, I, pre I appreciate all that you've done for me. I feel like I've grown a lot uh, because I've known you. And um, I'll be down to visit uh, a couple times. Uh, I like Florida. <laughs> uh, specific dates, yes. I was thinking about June 22nd. Um, I also like, um, I like to go fishing, so I'll take you to some of the, uh, the hot fishing spots down in the Keys. Uh, have a good life. Mr. Allen, I just want to thank you for the wonderful four years that I spent with the choir. I really had an enjoyable time doing the plays, the concerts, the exchange trips that we've been on. But the most of all, I enjoyed the Europe trip. We've had a lot of fun on that trip. And I just want to say that we'll all miss you and best of luck to you and your family. Hello, Mr. Allen. This is Stephen Miller, right? Is that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just uh, a whole bunch of stories, none which I can relate right now. Uh, just a whole bunch of thanks. And here's Peggy. I don't have anything to say. Did you say something? I have nothing to say. say. Meh. Meh. Oh, hi, Mr. Allen. Meh. Uh, we're going to go home and knit a sweater in a little while. Um, I will never forget you, Mr. Allen. Um, without you, I wouldn't have had any social life in high school whatsoever. <laughs> you were the best uh, part of my high school years. Uh, I must admit, I'm really sad to see you go, but in a way, I'm really happy because I don't have to plan my vacations around when you're having a concert anymore. So I'm, I'm really happy about this. Um, I will uh, never forget uh, the time that uh, I got to the line, uh, the last line of Rimney, and um, made it just to the very end, and you were there, and you were just about to cut us off, and you said, "Are you all right?" And I said, "No," and I passed out into Ann Miller's arms. Spidey Norman likes to break his arms. Spidey Norman likes to break his arms. Spidey Norman breaks his arms, still the choir must sing on. Spidey Norman likes to break his arms. Gordon's getting round and round the chair. Gordon's spinning round and round the chair. Gordon's spinning round the chair. Gordon's going everywhere. Gordon's spinning round and round the chair. Go home! <laughs> no, buy U.S. bonds. We love you, Norman. Oh, yes, we do. We love you, Norman. It will be true. When you're not near us, we're blue. We got more tape. We got more uh, tape. <laughs> okay, so how do you... Happy birthday to you! Hey, buddy! No, 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 no,